This diagram represents a cell with receptors in the plasma membrane colored blue. When agonist molecules are added to the cell, some of them bind to free receptors with the amount of binding determined by the agonist's affinity for the receptor. The response that evokes in the cell can be measured and plotted on a graph as a function of the concentration of agonist around the cell. The scale here is from 0 to 100% of the maximum possible response. The red cross marks the response at this agonist concentration. Now we double the concentration of agonist at the receptors and more molecules bind to the receptors. This gives a larger response, which is plotted on the graph. Doubling the concentration of agonist molecules again results in more agonist molecules binding to free receptors. And the amplitude of the response is increased again, as shown by the red cross on the graph. Doubling the concentration of agonist yet again results in even more binding to the receptors. Plotting the response on the graph you can see that it is nearing the maximum possible response. But there are still a lot of unoccupied receptors. When the agonist concentration is doubled again, even more molecules bind to the receptors. The response this time has reached maximum. This becomes clearer when you draw a curve through the points. You can see that the curve reaches a plateau at 100% of maximum. But you can also see that there are still some unoccupied receptors in the cell. When we double the concentration of agonist again, all the receptors become bound. But plotting the response on the graph, you can see that it is no larger than at the lower agonist concentration when the receptors were not fully occupied. So you don't always need 100% of receptors to be bound with agonist to produce the maximum response. There may be a proportion of the receptors that are extra to requirement. These receptors are known as spare receptors. Mm -hmm.